looking north across the valley of the Suris River. The core of that Richardson Pioneer Elevator was completed in 2009 over on the Sioux Line and Highway 39 just to the northwest of Estevan, about 11 k away. Oh, the valley is some chewed up in through here with the construction of the Earthfield Rafferty Dam beginning in 1988. The project went on through the mid 90s and it backs up the Suris River and forms a lake, the waters of which are used to cool a sham coal fired power plant. There's your Rafferty Dam right there. The Suris River was a spillway for Glacial Lake Regina and associated waters sending them down into the Gulf of Mexico via the Missouri system. This transmission line leads back southeast to the Boundary Dam Generating Station right there, built across the mouth of Long Creek. With the Shand it is owned by Saskatchewan Power Corporation and provides much of the electricity to Saskatchewan. And we're looking for Tableland. And it's out there somewhere, about halfway between the dam and Outra, down the line that the CPR built from Estevan West, beginning in 1912. Got out as far as Bromhead and then up to Neptune in 1914. back down Highway 18. Construction. CR says, let's go. However, that was as close as we got to Tableland that Friday morning on July 22nd, 2016. But here it is, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, July the 1st, 2021, it's a Thursday. And after a little bit more research and the acquisition of a more suitable camera platform, we've come back to look for Tableland. So we're looking north towards the valley of the sewer something. This will be undifferentiated glacial till below us, the very southern tip of the Trossachs Plains. From here, the Suris loops down into North Dakota before it comes back into Manitoba to join the Cinnaboy and head down to Winnipeg on the Red River. From there, it goes up into the Hudson Bay, Arctic watershed we're in. This is a continental divide in the Arctic and the Gulf of Mexico right in through here. Looking west, CP built its rail line due east-west in this area. CP dropped off a portable station in 1913 at mile 9 from Estevan. Difficult to know whether that nine miles is measured from somewhere in the yards or from the head of the switch. Oh, the camera on this old Mavic Pro does not have a smooth zoom function. Incremental. There was a siding. There was no elevator, but there was a siding. So I guess they might have loaded cattle out here. Sure looks like range country to me. Is that a sign I see up there? The station was removed in 1943. Now here's a disturbance. Is that a siding? Or is that just some sort of a boro pit or something? No, oh, just a whistle sign for Range Road 95, west of the 2nd Meridian up there. 
mirrors that disturbance again. It doesn't look like a siding. Maybe just borrowing birth for some reason. So, I think I figured out the tablelands between Range Road 95 and 94. So, let's head east. First, one last little look at the site here. A portable station sitting for only 30 years, probably on blocks, wouldn't leave much of a trace after. 80 years being gone. The breeze we're fighting to get out here now. But I gotta be the world's worst drone driver. No pile of junk. CP completed the line out to Neptune to the northwest in 1914. 54 rail miles. Called it the Neptune Branch. In 1926, the CPR dropped a switch into the line called Southall Junction, just on the other side of Bromhead at mile 34 approximately. Oh, what's this coming up? Some ditch combings? Some little ties in there? Anyway, from Southall, CP sent a spur west, eventually 28, 29 miles out to Minton in 1928 or so. The Minton Spur, I guess. In 1959, the company decided to abandon the final 14 miles of the Neptune sub and withdrew service as far as Tribune, mile 40 from Estevan. They created the Bromhead sub from the line from Estevan out to Minton, 79 miles, and called the little six mile stub out to Tribune, the Tribune Spur. On August the 4th of 1998, CP issued a notice of discontinuance for the mileage between Southall and Minton, and soon had that rail torn out. Since 2012, this has been the Long Creek Railroad line. I think they kept the same mileages. So we're getting to Range Road 54. Let's just pull up and see what we can see. There's a siding and a station. Maybe that's something. Well, a quick whirl around here. In the middle of, well, just in the western bounds of the RM of Estevan number five. I guess maybe this is Tableland. Appropriate name, if it is. Saskatchewan.